Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Big bump in temps today, mostly for the hills and the valleys because we didn't have any low clouds. Of course, it would have been great to have that for today. Uh, would have it yesterday for the eclipse. I know it's a, it's a day late. 77 in Santa Cruz, 90 though in Boulder Creek, 75 in Watsonville. And again, all these spots were clear this morning. So yeah, we could have we could have really uh, made out mid 60s, upper 60s, Seaside, Monterey, Marina, 79 though in Carmel Valley. And again, the uh, the valleys pushing into the 80s and some 90s were out there too, south of King City. They were at 88, 74 in Salinas. I said this earlier, we, we didn't get unlucky just because every day in the summer is pretty much cloudy, which just would have been a really lucky to have it uh, during the eclipse. We talked about mixing out the marine layer. We finally did that, but again, that was for today. 81 San Jose, 88 Morgan Hill, 89 Gilroy, 86 Hollister. So yeah, bumped up 10, in some cases 15 degrees. This is what it looked like this morning. There was just this nice bit of clearing the marine layer has been disrupted and I'll show you here why no low clouds in the valleys of the hills later in the day though we certainly got the patchy fog and now you can see some of the low clouds starting to poke in They're on their way into Salinas right now nobody else around the bay though uh, with the low clouds so it's just in patches marine layers kind of spotty it's there but they're uh, broken apart in places and you can see along the coast we had a, a pretty good clearing going all the way up almost to Oregon and then down the coast too around Big Sur. So a mixed bag because of this little weak area of low pressure. You can see the swirl here. This is the water vapor imagery. This, these things are so weak in the summertime. You're not going to see them uh, on the visible so much. So you can see this rotation here and actually it's bringing the moisture around and nailing it up into the Sierra. And guess what? The showers and thunderstorms were back. You can see those blossom up. There they go in the afternoon, the heating of the day. There's still some going right now so they're getting some some rain which is always a good thing and uh, still adding uh, really to the totals for the year because it goes until October 1st so monster year in the Sierra in fact the wettest ever uh, up in the northern Sierra this year we have the low clouds around the bay later tonight I don't think they'll get very far down the valley again a similar scenario to last night with just an added bit of low clouds around the bay and uh, we'll keep them close by tomorrow but I think we should get a full clearing at the coast tomorrow afternoon. Our winds will lighten up and then they'll start picking up as they generally do the heating of the day. You get the rising air off of the ground and you know what? The bay air comes right in to fill that gap. So uh, that's your sea breeze circulation right there. A west to, to northwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles an hour for you tomorrow afternoon. Uh, we'll put some bay fog in for later tonight. Keep it partly cloudy inland. Most temps will be in the 50s, uh, even some low 60s over around San Jose mid 60s to middle 70s uh, for the coast tomorrow. So not that much different than what we had this afternoon and the inland valleys not really changing all that much either with upper 70s to upper 80s. We'll keep the 90s again, mostly south of King City out towards Parkfield and Bradley down to Lake Nascimento and Fort Hunter Liggett. Sunshine though for you certainly through most of the day. 80, 86. Now let's make that a 66. 86 in San Francisco. Yeah, with offshore flow, maybe in September and October we'll do that. Uh, not yet. Mostly 80s again for the Inland Valley. So nothing overly warm, but 88 in Gilroy and 85 in Hollister. Salinas Valley with a 71 here in Salinas. 86 though in King City. And then again, the 90s taking over south of King City. Middle and upper 70s for Carmel Valley, middle and upper 60s for Monterey and Seaside, 65 in PG, and a 74 in Big Sur. North end of the bay with a mix of 70s to upper 80s up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, so uh, plenty warm, and a 73 in Watsonville. Your KSBW 8-day forecast going into the weekend. Some warming, not a lot really at the coast, still a mix of upper 60s to upper 70s. It looks like maybe parts of Santa Cruz could top off in the low 80s over the weekend. We'll see. So uh, some good beach weather, I suppose. And 80s and low to mid 90s getting a little toasty for the inland valleys if the long range holds. Saturday and Sunday, middle 80s to middle 90s, even upper 80s to upper 90s by Monday and Tuesday of the following week. So a warming trend, slow but steady as we head into the weekend.